Hello, welcome to the number two question of um, C, malloc, and free. Okay, write a function that concatenates two strings. Remember that this prototype is already there. We have this prototype stored already in the main.header file, right? The next thing we are going to do now is to create this main two dash main dot c is the next thing we are going to do now so doing that copy this example this uh, this text file here and stop here okay then you come to copy it then you come here say v two dash main main dot c right you enter it then you paste it inside here. You can see this is the same thing. You paste inside here. Okay. Then after that, you, you go for you go for you go for the second question, which is the one minute, please. Which is the which is the name of the file? You answer, you copy it. Then when you come here, you see V, and you enter the name, enter. Then you put your syntax here. Yeah, this is your, then you put your code. Okay. So you can see we have the, what? We have the main for a header file there. We have the standard library dot head. We have the standard input output there. We have our, we have our, our comment section. Let's see there. We have our comment section there. Okay. We have our comment section there. Then we have this uh, this function here. Okay, you can see the pointer x1 and x2. Pointer 1, character 1, character 2. Then he said if initialize if we initialize what we initialize the i equal to zero j equal to zero k equal to zero l equal to zero then the character pointer x if x1 is equal to null then character for the the x1 is equal to null like this nothing is inside remember if n to the same thing then while this character uh, this x1 is equal to an array of i it will increment okay y is equals to uh, y the s2 is equals to array of j it's j will increment are you getting it then let l is equals to this is just mathematical this thing i is plus l is equals to i plus j whatever i is is going to be i plus j whatever the, so now to get the answer i say x equals to malloc so the size of character times l whatever l answer is here okay then plus one then if the answer is zero or sorry is none then you to return none if j is equal to zero then k y k is lesser than l then the if statement is equal to k i is k is lesser than or equals to i then the array of k the array element of k is equals to s1 of k okay remember we did this one of the in one of the text uh, uh, quiz question, okay, see the same thing. So this, that is where you you stop. So then you exit, okay. Then the next thing you are going to do now is to compile. You go back. You take your from this JCC, GCC compiler. You copy it. Then copy. You come here. Sorry. You come here. You paste it. You test if it's compiling. Then you see it has compiled. Then you can see this C here to be C. It's with dot C. Then we'll run it. Are you seeing it? Betty Hobartson. Okay. Then that's it. Then after you compile, you go back. You go back. When you when you compile, now you go back to add to add only the the the, the file okay 
this is number two right say two dash this is what you add you add it you commit it and you push it after you push it you now go back to your and check if it's correct okay as you can see it's correct so that's it so try to read the question very well and understand it okay so see you in the next video please subscribe like and share turn on the notification bell for yours to for you to get uh, fresh content when i drop it okay bye